hi guys um, I'm pleased to be able to share with you some images uh, that have been sent to me by a, a youtuber uh, Thomas in Argentina and uh, Thomas saw my uh, video um, uh, about radio part 41 and that's the quality audio FM transmitter and uh, Thomas saw the video and uh, next day went out and purchased the components that he needed and these uh, very kindly sent me some pictures of the little piece of equipment that he's built I've asked him if I can share these with you and uh, he says yes so uh, here they are Thomas says that uh, he runs his transmitter from a standard power supply with a laminated uh, iron core and uh, he's run the circuit from 3 volts to 12 volts and he says it works every time uh, he's uh, made some changes because of the components uh, that he was able to get he's used a 5.2 to 30 picofarad capacitor trimmer for uh, VC1 and VC2 that's the uh, oscillator and the uh, antenna tuning uh, capacitors and is used a 2N2222 for the power transistor he hadn't got a uh, 22 picofarad capacitor but he had got a 33 picofarad capacitor and what he's done is sanded the top of the capacitor and I had to go back and ask him what did he mean and he has literally sanded uh, the top of the capacitor away to reduce its uh, value and uh, this is a, a, a tip that he got from his father but uh, Thomas has also told me that his grandfather is um, uh, a very big uh, amateur radio enthusiast so uh, maybe this is a, a, a tip handed down from uh, generation to generation but it's first time I've actually uh, seen that done nothing wrong with it and here's a picture of the capacitor in question and uh, once uh, the correct value was reached uh, Thomas told me that he uh, put some super glue over the top of the uh, capacitor just to seal it as I say I've never seen um, that done quite like that before uh, but there's nothing wrong with it and uh, after all this is only working at 12 volts so uh, uh, th there's a tip I've learned anyway the inductors uh, L1 and L2 are 4.5 millimeter ID and uh, L3 and 4 are 3.75 millimeters ID and L4 is the one with the ferrite core he's used uh, AWG20 uh, wire for each of the four inductors an improvement that uh, Thomas has made is uh, he's added some extra bits of uh, uh, circuit board as screens to the oscillator section and he says that he thinks it's 100% uh, immune from hand capacity so as you move your hand near to the oscillator uh, so it doesn't alter the frequency so that's good to make the circuit board he copied uh, my idea for the land or island cutter and he made his own uh, cutter using his lathe he says that he had to sharpen the cutter several times as he'd made his out of mild steel and the fiberglass board uh, very quickly takes the sharp edge off of the cutter he made a nice job of the cutter as uh, you can see in these photographs here I've made two videos on this uh, sort of land cutter and uh, the first one is a uh, under the title of uh, PCB tip for creating pads on continuously coated PCBs 
If you are going to use this process then definitely have a look at my second video on land cutters and that's under the heading of circuit board land cutter. And you'll see here that I use a high speed steel drill that I've uh, sharpened to uh, give a suitable cutting edge and uh, that holds uh, uh, the cutting edge for much longer. Uh, Thomas has used a um, stripped length of RG6 coax cable for the antenna and he says that's about 70 centimeters long with a snap and seal F type connector. Um, so I think he's made a nice little job of it. He says it uh, works well uh, all around his shop and he's been using it continually since he built it. So well done on that Thomas and uh, thank you for sending the photographs and uh, allowing me to share them with the rest of the YouTube community and uh, I'm really pleased that um, you know I've uh, been able to make a contribution and that you, you've been able to copy it. I didn't provide any build instructions in my video and uh, probably rather a sketchy circuit diagram uh, but uh, Thomas has interpreted that and uh, built his own so I say very well done um, okay I'll give you the circuit diagram now originally the circuit diagram came from everyday electronics and I've modified that to fit the antenna indicator that's the transistor over on the right hand side and that also includes the 10 picofarad capacitor the 270 ohm resistor the LED of course and the uh, 3K3 resistor um, Q3 I used a PN2222A but I think in reality any of these transistors you could use um, or, or you could replace with any general purpose um, uh, NPN transistor. Uh, just watch out for the pin connections if you use uh, uh, anything different or, or if you swap from one to the other. I hope you found that interesting. I'm uh, very pleased that uh, someone has actually uh, taken the trouble to uh, copy and produce their own uh, circuit, I'm sorry, produce their own uh, transmitter and uh, I'm re really pleased about that and pleased to hear about it. Uh, so always interested in feedback guys. Um, thanks for watching. Bye bye.